Hi, I'm Malak Abdelmati, a BIM and Facility Management Integration Consultant at Pentagon BIM Consultants. BIM still continues to be very much at the forefront of our professional consciousness. Everybody's talking about it, and most say they are doing it, but only a few are doing it right. We've all heard people saying, let's BIM this and let's BIM that, and they spend huge amounts of money to get a job BIMed, but they don't actually realize any of the benefits or values of what BIM can offer. In fact, for a lot of companies, BIM has become more of a burden rather than a facilitator. If you'd like to see how BIM can really benefit your organization, watch now to find out how. To start off with the current state of the industry, on the screen you can see the RIBA plan of work stages, starting from strategic definition of a project all the way across the handover and later to the in use stage. And this is typically what happens. A client gets into a project, states in his requirements that he wants BIM implemented, then comes the main contractor, let's do this BIM job, starts the job till he reaches the handover stage, hands over the project to the client, and that's congratulations, your BIM job is now done. The client receives models, all the manuals, project documentation and information, but without any explanation. The client then stands there with no clue what he's supposed to do with all those models or that information but he's going to pass them over to facility management anyway. They must know a way around it. But he still doesn't understand why he spent all that money on BIM in the first place. He could have done the same thing without all that BIM hassle. On the other side there stands a facility manager, totally flustered, that there comes another job and another huge pile of documents with hardly any reliable information included, and they'll just have to dig into all that, spending hours and hours searching for the data that they need to operate and maintain the facility but the process is far from being efficient or effective. That facility manager is convinced there has to be a way to avoid all that. And certainly that BIM thing can do that, but he just doesn't know how. And it's quite obvious now that there is a huge gap in segregation between a project prior to handover and post handover. But it doesn't have to be like that and it doesn't have to be that segregated. So what if I tell you there is another way to do this? Through BIM and Facility Asset Management Integration, you'll be able to bridge the gap between the handover and closeout stage and the in-use stage. You will realize the true benefits of the BIM process, start seeing return on investment, and make savings ranging between 20 to 30% and more. Everything always comes down to the costs involved. The rule of thumb in the AEC industry is that if you're spending a pound during design, you'll be spending five times that during construction and 200 times that during operation and maintenance. Hence why greater attention must be given to the operation and maintenance stage, as this is where you will incur the greatest cost over the life cycle of the facility. It's most often the case that people don't resist change, but they resist being changed. And for those who only see the cost of change, but can't see the long-term savings, what do you think a 20 to 30% savings would mean to you? Let's assume that you perform 20,000 maintenance tasks a year, be it reactive or planned. And if we only look at the activity-based tasks, which means that we are only going to be considering labor costs, if you spend on each task an average of two and a half hours and your labor wage is 20 pounds per hour, that means you're spending one million pounds on maintenance for the first year of operating and maintaining your facility. And that certainly increases over time given various factors, one of them being that the labor wage increases across the industry. That is the case if you're maintaining your assets in a non-BIM enabled environment, which is represented in the blue line on the screen. On the other hand, if you have the right information in the right structure and format, and you operate and maintain your facility within a BIM-enabled environment, resembled in the orange curve on the screen, you can reach between a 20 to 30% savings on your maintenance tasks year on year. Certainly, you'll be spending a few thousands more initially on IT infrastructure, training, hardware, and various other aspects to become BIM-enabled. But if we consider a five-year period, you'll reach your break-even point in only a year and a few months, your savings in five years will significantly exceed your initial expenditure. And we certainly understand that this is not a linear relation over the years, but that's a medium representation of it. And no matter how much you spend initially, you'll certainly be saving more than that. So what is the solution? We always say you have to begin with the end in mind. And we hear everyone across the industry saying the same, 
but people generally tend to talk the talk without actually taking any actions towards that. And the truth is, it might all seem like a pretty complex process, and the routes to get to the end of it might seem really tangled, but at Pentagon, we know the shortcuts and we can get you right through. Some of you might be asking yourselves now, why Pentagon? With any change, there is always going to be a dip in performance level whenever you start implementing the change. And our aim and role at Pentagon is to make that dip as minimal and short as possible, so you could get to the desired performance level in the quickest and most efficient way. If you try to implement the change on your own, the dip might be actually quite steep. At Pentagon, we focus on people, processes, and technology. We are enablers, we are proficient with technology, we know all about the right processes, and our consultants have more than 20 years experience in the industry. So we are just in the heart of that trilogy. We get embedded in a project, apply our extensive expertise to enforce the right processes for your organization, involve the right people at every stage of the project, and implement the necessary technology to help you reach your end goals. Finally, to sum everything up, BIM and FM integration is the solution to all your problems. It might be a long road, but if you'd like to see a return on investment, cost and time savings, sustainability, and efficiency, it's time to consider post handover stages of projects as part of the BIM Level 2 workflow. It's a journey that you don't have to pursue alone. At Pentagon, we get the job done. Finally, we understand that there is no solution that fits all, and that's why our solution is scalable and customized to fulfill your needs and suit your working environment. And always remember, the future belongs to the integrators. To find out more, visit our website www.pentagonsolutions.com slash bimconsultancy or email us on info at pentagonsolutions.com. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest videos and also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and Twitter.